Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we are going to be graphing logarithm functions in my math lab with transformations, and that gives students some problems. So I thought my students, and maybe you, would really like to see how it's done. So here we go. We are going to be graphing this but we have to answer some questions about it first. So let's read the instructions which are always a good which is always a good idea. For the following function, briefly describe how the graph can be obtained from the graph of the basic logarithmic function. What is the basic logarithmic function? Well, a minus 1 at the end of a function means it's being moved down one unit. Okay, and that's a transformation. So without the transformation, our basic function is y equals log base 3 of x, or f of x equals log base 3 of x. All right, then we're going to graph the function. Then we're going to give the domain and the vertical asymptote of the function. So here we go. First, we have to look at the transformation. It's down one unit. So I go through these, and I see down and unit right here. So my answer is going to be D. Now, in this box, I put the basic function. So on my keyboard, I type LOG. Then I come down to the toolbar here, and I click on the subscript button, and I put the 3 there. That's where you put the base of a logarithmic function. Then I hit the right arrow key on my keyboard, and then I type x. That's the basic function. All right, and that's red log base 3 of x. Now. We're going to go down how many units? One unit. OK, since this word down is there, I don't have to put a negative 1. That would be saying I'm going down negative 1 units, which would be like a double negative, which would give me a positive, and life would get much too complicated, and I'd get the wrong answer. So speaking about the answer, let's check our answer. And I'm right. OK, now here comes the hard part. Click to enlarge the graph. Click. Now, here we go. If you don't know what to do, read the yellow banner. It says, click the graph. Choose a tool in the palette. This is the palette. And follow the instructions to create your function, is what it's supposed to say. Let's see. Yeah, your graph. OK. So I have to find an icon for a logarithm function. If I hover my mouth over these icons, over these tiles, I'll see that the name comes up. OK, this is the logarithm tool. So I click on the logarithm tool. Then I read the yellow banner. Click the graph to plot your curve doesn't matter where, so click. Now, how I get this to move, this is your basic logarithm function in its home position. How I get it to move is to fill in what kind of transformation I have. So here are a list of the possible transformations, along with the base, which we already know is 3. And my vertical shift is what I need to know. So I click to get rid of the 0, and now I put in a negative 1, or if you prefer, minus 1, just like the minus 1 up here. OK, so I'm going to save the function. Watch the function move when I hit Save. That was kind of fast. But now it's moved down 1. I'm going to check my answer. Yay! It says excellent. 
OK. Now we have two more questions to answer. What is the domain of the function? Well, I come over here and I look. The graph is going alongside, actually it's getting closer and closer, to the y-axis, but it looks like it's traveling alongside. It's never going to cross the y-axis because the y-axis is its vertical asymptote. That means that the graph will get closer and closer and closer to the y-axis, but never touch it. OK, now if I head from here out to here, this graph is going to keep going forever to the right out to positive infinity. So I'll come over here, and I'll type a parenthesis, and then a 0, and then a comma, and then come down here to the toolbar for an infinity sign, and then type another parenthesis, and check my answer. Oh, good. OK, now before we say what the vertical asymptote is, the reason I don't have a bracket there is that x cannot equal 0. There's no such thing as the logarithm to any base of 0. OK, so I have to put print 0. Now, last question, what is the equation of the vertical asymptote? And the answer is, well, the y-axis is the vertical asymptote, and x is 0 on the y-axis. And all vertical, uh, all vertical lines start with x equals, and x equals 0 on the y-axis, so I'll type a 0. And then check my answer. And I've got it right. So this is how you would do that problem. There goes my phone. I'm going to ignore it, but not ignore you. Please email me with any questions. And thank you for watching.